All right, mom and dad, what is something that you can do to make your kids' phones and tablets a ton safer than they are right now? And it's something that you can do today. It's really simple. I want to share that with you as well as the three reasons why I think it's really important that you do that. The problem today when it comes to our kids and their apps is, number one, there are um, people that you do not want your kids connecting with through these apps or them trying to connect with you, right? Predators and other folks and other people that your kids don't know, um, even your teens. You want to be able to be a part of that conversation. You want to have that transparency. And so you can't just have them downloading any new app, social media apps, apps that connect them or put them out there. That's very important. Number two, there's some apps that just have content on there that your kids shouldn't be looking at our kids. Some of them are video game stuff. Again, some social media stuff, streaming apps or things that they shouldn't be watching or looking at. And then thirdly, um, and this is really weird, and maybe you haven't heard of this, but there are some apps out there that are designed to hide things from you, and I'm talking about you as the parent. Okay, so for example, there has been, I think it's still out there, um, I think it's called Vault. And this app, now listen, listen to this, this app, it looks like a calculator. Okay, so as you're going through your kid's phone, or if you look over their shoulder, you just see an app, and it looks like a little calculator. But actually, it is a holding vault for photos and videos and maybe other documents um, that they're, that your kids are not going to hold in their photo album. And um, unfortunately, um, it's been used to hold sexual images and sects and pornography in there. You just, the kids just come in and they just, you know, type a little number on there and it unlocks and then they can put their stuff in there and then they can, they can view it. Um, there was a sexting ring that was busted um, in a high school a uh, football team, a bunch of athletes and whatever, and they were just sharing um, photos of, of some of the young ladies in the school and stuff. And kids were finding hundreds of, the police found hundreds of photos on these kids' phones in these apps, okay? So you need to be able to have control over what is on your children's phones, okay? So here's the principle, okay? Your child should not have any app on their phone that you have not approved. All right now for some of you that might be a radical thought and maybe you're like that seems kind of like I'm spying on my kids and it's freaky. Okay. I don't care how it sounds. It needs to happen. Okay. You should not allow your kids to have stuff on their phones. And not only that, to be honest, they shouldn't be able to delete apps either without your permission. Okay. And I'm going to show you how you do that. Um, well, I'm not going to walk you through the technicalities of it because everybody's phone is different and there's Android phones and iPhones. You can look up online how to do this, but basically you need to activate parental controls on your children's phones. Um, and so there's various ways to do that. But basically what that means is that there is a pin number or some kind of a code that you institute on your children's phones that allows you to lock down them having access to some of the things, some of the settings on the phone. So on iPhone, for example, if you go into settings and then if you go to screen time, you can activate parental controls there. You can put a little pin in there. It's like a four digit pin, I think. You get in there, that allows you to turn off the ability for your kids to download, or I think it says install apps. You, you don't allow them to do that. Also down um, to delete apps as well. There's a bunch of other things that you can do in there, but I just wanted to focus on this one today. Why is it that we should do this? Okay, so uh, number one, and it's obvious, but it'll keep your kids safer on their phones or on their tablets, okay? So I have a bunch of these um, with my teenagers and all those parental controls are on there, okay? So what does that mean? It means that if they wanted to download a little video game thing or a new social media thing or Pinterest, whatever it is, they have to come to me because I'm the only one that has the code, okay? And that leads us to number two. Not only is it going to keep them safer because I'm approving what comes onto their phone, um, but it leads to number two, which is it makes a great conversation happen and an important conversation happen, right? So I can say, hey, so what is this game that you want? Oh, well, it's this thing, whatever. Oh, yeah, is there blood in it? Are you shooting people? Can you talk to people through the thing, through the app? Are you conversing with people? And they're like, well, I'm not sure exactly. I say, hey, you know what? Go do some research on that. What is it? Uh, what's the rating on that game, right? Or whatever. Or the social media app, right? 
And okay, well, I'll let you know after dinner, I'll do some research or whatever, right? So it's important conversations that we want to have with our kids and putting that parental control on there sparks that. Okay, thirdly, um, and this is the most important, maybe not the most important, but it's the most immediate that you'll feel. You just get to sleep better at night knowing that your child, unless they're high level hackers, and again, I'm sure there's ways around all of these things, but we still need to do the best that we can as parents and it'll allow you to sleep better at night knowing, hey, I'm doing everything that I can as a parent to keep my kids safe online and while they use their devices, okay? So those are the reasons why you need to get in there today. Take a, just take one minute to Google, how do I put parental controls on my kid's Android or their iPad or whatever? It'll come up and then you can just jump in there, follow the instructions. Now, to even do that, that might freak out your child or your teenager, okay? And that's going to crack open a whole other conversation, a conversation that you need to have. Why do you get to have that kind of control over the device, okay? Obviously, we're not going to get into all of that today, but of course, I believe that you should. If you have those questions, I want to encourage you to check out the Family Tech Game Plan free webinar that I have um, that goes over a ton of these things. Uh, the neuroscience behind it and the education and all of these components as well as a lot of the bad news, things that are going to motivate us as parents to understand why we need to do this for our kids. So check out familytechgameplan.com, sign up for the free webinar, and in there there's an invitation as well to join the online course that I have that walks you and your children through the process so that they can open their hearts and their minds to an understanding of why mom and dad need to have that final say on all of my technology, okay? Listen, mom and dad, I know these are tough days to be a parent, but I believe in you. I know you can do it. If you have any other questions that we can talk about in future videos, put them in the comments below, or if you have any other questions about this, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. All right, talk to you soon. You can do it.